Denisia Hayes turned the skies red. Why is that? And what is Rayleigh scattering? Emily Hinton of Express UK reports what's happening there. It looks like it's another planet. An Indonesian province, skies turned blood red over the weekend. And why has the sky turned blood red? What is Rayleigh scattering? This is not normal, obviously. Something is in the atmosphere causing all this. Skies in Indonesia province of Jambi turned red over this weekend, and one resident in the area had hurt her eyes and throat because of this. Obviously, this is not normal. Of course, it's not healthy. The haze conditions remain severe on Monday, an Indonesia meteorological agency, MBKG, stated that satellite imagery revealed numerous hot spots and thick smoke distribution in the area of Jambi. Why is the sky turning red? It's turned red thanks to widespread forest fires plaguing massive parts of the country. Fires in Indonesia annually create a smoky haze and it can end up blanketing the entire Southeast Asian region. But this year's haze levels have been some of the worst in years. The unusual sky caused a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. What is it? It refers to scattering of the light of them off the molecules of the air that can be extended to scattering from particles up to about a tenth of a wavelength of light. Rayleigh scattering of the molecules of the air which gives us the blue, the blue sky, that's how we see the blue sky, or the change in, in the color. Professor Ko T. Yong of Singapore University of Social Studies Social Sciences explains Rayleigh scattering has to do with certain types of particles that are present during a period of haze. He told BBC, In the smoke haze, the most abundant particles are around one micrometer in size, but these particles do not change the color of the light we see. There are also smaller particles, around 0.05 micrometers or less, that don't make up a lot of the haze, but are still somewhat more abundant during a haze period than a normal non-haze period, but this is enough to give an extra tendency to scatter red light more in the forward and background directions than blue light. And that's why we would see more red than blue. Professor Ko added the facts that photos were taken around noon could have caused the sky to appear more red. He said if the sun is overhead and you look up, you'll be looking in the line of the sun, so it would appear that more of the sky is red. He also said the phenomenon would not modify the air temperature. Rayleigh scattering of sunlight in Earth's atmosphere causes diffuse sky radiation. It's a reason for the blue color of the daytime and twilight sky, okay, uh, for example, dawn and dusk, as well as the yellowish to reddish hue of the low sun. Sunlight is also subject to Raman scattering, which changes the rotational state of the molecules and gives rise to polarization effects. The phenomenon named after the 19th century British physicist Lord Rayleigh. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation 
with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.